folks. This is a bio pellet reactor filter, a denitrate system, whatever you want to call it. Most people call it a bio pellet reactor. Now the way that these things work is there is pellets inside that are made of a biodegradable polymer. Now what these pellets do is they actually feed a certain kind of bacteria that assimilates nitrates and phosphates and takes them out of your system. Now the tumbling effect actually sheds these bacteria off. And these bacteria are large enough to stick to the water tension created in the bubbles of a protein skimmer. So those bacteria are shed off and removed by the, um, by the protein skimmer. And then more of them are growing and feeding on, on the uh, bacteria, and the, or sorry, the nitrates and phosphates to create more of them, to assimilate them and um, basically continue removing the phosphates and, and nitrates. These pellets do eventually dissolve because, again, the bacteria feeds also on them. It doesn't assimilate them, but it actually uses its food for energy. So eventually, these eventually dissolve and need to be replaced. Now, the tumbling effect is what sheds the bacteria off again, as I mentioned. And the flow of that water comes out here and then is caught up in the protein skimmer and removed. As you can see, lots of it's being removed. That's how bio pellet reactors work. They work quite effectively. Um, there's a couple different brands in the markets, but I highly recommend them. They do work great. They do take some time to uh, cycle and start working. Um, they told me it would be four to six weeks. Mine ended up being about three months before they started working effectively. But when they did start working, it worked great. There you go. I hope that helps and explains basically how a biopilot reactor works. Thanks for watching.